The vehicle I've got in front of me is a six meter Chausson motorhome. It looks as though it were built in 1983 from the shape of, discounting of course the shiny color. Uh, we'll have a look inside. Uh, this is the C514, costs 53 and a half uh, thousand euros and it's got what's called the easy bed, it's got LED throughout, uh, uh, Euro 60, I suppose you'd expect that now anyway. Oh, listen to the music. That's the theme tune of the CMT trade fair. And uh, right, so I'll go back onto this uh, van now. Well, that plays, I don't mind actually. I don't, I don't like copyright stuff, but that one there, I think it's a, a, a nice jolly tune. Somebody said to me yesterday, probably was far more music than I do, said, uh, yeah, you can tell it's not professionally done. And I thought, well, I couldn't tell anyway. I mean, but, uh, I think it's, I think it's very pleasant, sort of gets you in the mood as well. Right, I'm not going to start moving the uh, um, plastic bit around because I see somebody else has attempted it and it's now been sort of sellotaped up. Uh, that is no reflection, I think, on Chausson uh, because uh, people tend to break things. Indeed, I was in a van this morning, a Frankia, yeah, and that uh, I got out before any nails broke. I thought the whole thing might collapse under me. A Frankier as well, I mean, you know, a vehicle costing well into six figures. The thing is though, if it, you know, people do come in and break things, sometimes people, I mean, somebody broke the door of a toilet in a friend's vehicle, but, uh, I don't know. Uh, you, you can say, well, that does reflect on the, uh, uh, the build quality of the vehicle, but you know, there's no, this doesn't matter how good something is, and somebody starts using force, it's going to fall to bits. Okay, uh, as I started off saying that this vehicle uh, does look a little bit like a uh, something from the 1980s, as the first van I ever drove looked a bit like this. That was in 1991. I, know, I decided I couldn't drive it, so I didn't buy it. It's on the Ford Transit base, just in case you didn't see it. That. Um, I'll take it around in a couple more vans, seeing as I'm here. Uh, now, Chausson, uh, it's a 720, Chausson 720, 720 centimeters in length, that's 59,000 euros. Uh, they do have lots of uh, things now with them, I've got to point out. One of the most interesting things is this it's the reversing camera. Uh, the fact it's got a mosquito screen is, uh, you know, they've all got mosquito screens, so may as well say it's got four wheels. Uh, 170 horsepower uh, automatic gearbox now that's another thing that people want increasingly if you've seen my videos you know I don't like automatics but I do appreciate I'm in a tiny minority uh, on that one got this bed up here but you know it's, it's not a problem I've got no mirror to show you myself in but this, yeah, I feel as I've got enough height but if you're like 180 or more, 180 centimeters, six feet or more, then uh, you might feel differently. 
they do have some rather odd layout. Oh, sorry, oh, that's probably not the right word, but unusual layouts. Uh, this being one of them. A door going that way. Oh, that is a bit odd, isn't it? This also gives you more room in there to hang your stuff up, and it gives you a bit of space down here. Um, bunks in the back. So one of the advantages, of course, of bunks is, is that you can, uh, I suppose, use the space for something else. I'm trying now in my best to sort of show more vans as I uh, uh, do something. It gives you a bit of a comparison between the one I showed and uh, others in the range. Somebody asked me to actually do something with um, showing my top five picks. I think that's a bit more difficult for me. So another overcab van. This thing here costs 63,375, seven and a half meters in length. Um, okay, so the this part incidentally of the bed will actually go up as well. So if you want more head head headroom, there you go. Sorry, just did that without showing it to you. I'll do it, I'll put it back down again. Easily done on one hand while I'm filming with the other. So that's uh, that's a very positive uh, thing, I think. King size. One thing I also want to point out actually is I'm walking around with a bag on my back and I don't like bags on the back as a, in, in these places, so I, also which is understandable. The point I'm uh, saying this, there you go, this is my bag on the back, I've got, my, uh, I've got my coat and second camera in there, in gimbal. And uh, the point of that though is that see, I'm, I'm moving myself quite easily, it's not, so people who may be a little bit larger than I am around the waist, I mean that is on my back shouldn't find it to be uh, too difficult. Seven four seven GA sixty two thousand one hundred eighty five. This thing's also seven and a half meters in length. Personally, I wouldn't want the show song, but that's uh, that's my taste. It's not. It's 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 an aesthetic thing. I think more than anything else. Sorry, like I said I wouldn't want one if they give me one. I'd, I'd drive it around. It's a very difficult company, though, to actually do anything with, from my point of view. Because you know, I put stuff up my website, and I try to give people information. But because they have this system whereby everything they have the information they give out is password protected, and now it's fair enough they'd give it to me. But you know, I. Uh, uh, hanging around waiting for passwords to arrive I've got other things to do and uh, they're not paying me for it so uh, you know so that's that that's that one dead and I think you'll find the, the same situation with other people as well unless of course Shawson's paying them through advertising 62,000 this is called 778 also seven and a half meters. I've got a queen bed in the back this seems to me just on the description to be a little bit more exciting Indeed it is. It's, uh, <laughs> wouldn't want one myself, but this is really, uh, uh, exciting. Yeah, wouldn't suit me, but hey, look at all this. This is really, oh, it's a bit like being in a hotel, a bit like being some funny modern hotel in Germany. Um, oh dear, I hope that doesn't lock. Oh, God. That was, uh, that would be worried. I see, I see that thing there's broken. I could have been stuck in here. I've been stuck in here for months. Yeah, well, that's that's a bit, and you've got a bed up there as well. Take 250 kilos. So if the two of you weigh more than 125, you're out of luck. That's 125 each, I might point out. Right, uh, this thing here, 
is 768XLB. I'm going to call it a day after this actually, and I'm going to uh, stick this just through the door. Oh, that's a more standard sort of queen bed, more standard sort of motorhome. I mean, they are thinking out the box though, which always makes things interesting. 60,195. 60, so it, definitely this one comes to within the, uh, shall we say, cheaper option of uh, motorhome. All right, good. So I hope you found that of interest. This is the one I started off with, the C514 six meter over cab van. Uh, you're gonna have a bit of a job getting some solar for that though. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and please do subscribe.